You know, I believe that our main trouble is too many people putting forth the best efforts. I've been asking probably 12,000 people a year. Is anybody here not putting forth his best efforts? Please stand. <laughs> I've yet to see one. Certainly 60,000 people have asked that question. No one confessed. Everybody putting forth his best efforts. That's our problem. Our problem, Deming's theorem number two. We're ruined, being ruined by people putting forth the best efforts. Be far better off if most of those people would just not show up for work, come in late, forget it. Everybody knows what to do. Everybody has the answer. Long list of things. Make everybody accountable. Posters, slogans, exhortations, MBO, management by objective, management by the numbers, MBR, management by results, the so-called merit system, actually destroyer of people, incentive pay, pay for performance. Incidentally, I read in Harper's Index that for the year 1987, illicit drugs stopped at the border per agent. This is measured in terms of dollars. 124,000 dollars worth illicit drugs stopped at the border per dog on the job. <laughs> Three million, 640,000. Dog pays attention to business. I don't, I don't know if it gets a rating and I don't know about retirement. <laughs> he asks no questions. He does his job. Work standards, by which I mean quotas, time standards. What do they do? They double the cost of production, be they for manufacturing or for service, as in a bank or in a telephone company. They rob people of pride of workmanship, the emphasis being on numbers not on quality. They are a barrier to improvement. Just in time, zero defects, meet specifications, motivate people. It's all wrong in the sense that none of them will do it. Altogether they will not do it. All of the things Dr. Deming mentioned require nothing more than money or learning a skill, and they let senior management duck its responsibility for quality. But the fact that they won't work does not mean that each of them is wrong. For instance, once your processes are in control and your system is stable, you can predict with a high degree of belief what you are going to need and when. At that point, just-in-time becomes a smart thing to do. Quality can lead to just-in-time, but just-in-time can't lead to quality.